In this video, I'm gonna share with you how to use Mr. Clean Magic Erasers to literally clean even the dirtiest of door panels, vinyl, rubber, and plastic. Now let's get straight into it. What's going on? So glad you're here and welcome back to the Wilson Auto Detailing community. If this is your first time here and you are a professional auto detailer who wants to become more successful and profitable in your business or just a car enthusiast who wants to improve your detailing ability, then definitely consider hitting that big red subscribe button right below this video. So check out this door panel that I am cleaning right now. I'll go ahead and start at the top and you guys can see that starting from the top all the way across, we'll go down. First of all, you have all these different kind of materials right here, it's more of a leather, right here is more of a hard textured plastic piece. Inside you have all these cracks and crevices. Let me go ahead and back up. And down beneath here, obviously you have all of these really, really dirty spots where kids sit in the back, they kick their shoes up here, they end up smearing different things. This looks like gum, but check it out. Pretty dirty tan car door. So obviously there are a lot of different ways to approach this, but I'm I'm gonna use my Mr. Clean Magic Eraser and my Super Clean Degreaser diluted five parts water, one part Super Clean, and show you guys how quickly and easily this works. So all I'm gonna do is actually spray my Super Clean onto the Magic Eraser. I don't wanna spray it on this, and then I'm just going to lightly rub it a few times on whichever area I'm working on, just like this. Now the danger that you have to be aware of is that this almost acts like a really mild sandpaper, and so if if there's a certain area, especially a leather area, um, that you're working on that's really dirty and you rub too much, you might actually strip the leather or strip the clear coat protective piece on it. So I'm gonna be very careful, I'm not putting a ton of pressure, but I am rubbing pretty aggressively because this door is very dirty. And then of course I just mop it up with my microfiber towel. Now before I continue, I just wanna show you guys the contrast between where I have cleaned and where I haven't cleaned. So right here, obviously you can see this little dividing line this is where I just took the magic eraser and I have not done any other part of the door So you can see how dirty this is where body oils and dirt from your hands have gotten and right there The magic eraser really in less than 10 seconds cleaned all of that. No problem Now what I want to do is go ahead and clean the bottom part of this door because this is super super dirty So once again, I'm gonna go with the same strategy spraying it on my mr. Clean magic eraser and then I'm gonna go ahead and rub pretty aggressively on this bottom part panel to show you guys exactly how well it really does erase things. So check that out. This whole panel right here is very, very clean, restored back to that lighter tan color. And then this side still has yet to be clean. So you can see how much lighter and cleaner this area is than this area. So now I'm going to go ahead, do the rest of the car door. I'm going to clean up these pieces with all of this dirt, all in those cracks and crevices. I'm going to clean up this piece right here and then show you guys the full after. Now here is the after view of the door. So you can see totally restored back to that original appearance. You can see even down underneath here, no more scuffs, no more dirt, anything like that. Even on top where there was all of that just really, really nasty stuff all down here, totally taken away, all of it restored back to original color, original appearance and looks absolutely Awesome. Now just a couple things to be cautious about when you're using the magic eraser is like I highlighted earlier A lot of times on door panels. There's all these different materials And so right here in the middle, there's a more like leather like material And so it's very fragile especially when it gets really dirty and the dirt is left to sit And so if I'm scrubbing really really hard and it looks like the dirt is still there You might actually be pulling off the coloring pulling off the leather the tan color and it looks like it's dirty because underneath it's dark and you're actually erasing the material itself. So always, you know, be using an inconspicuous area first, test it out, go light and then too aggressive. Of course, because I know from experience and I've been doing this for years, I know that I could have used this, but definitely be cautious. Now, last note for this video is that these magic erasers are very much a brain, a brand name kind of thing. And so they're very expensive. You can buy like two of these at Kroger and it costs like three or four dollars. That is a ripoff because all this is is foam. 
It's a specific type of foam called melamine foam. I buy these in bulk on Amazon. I get 20 of them at a time. They're bigger than this, they're thicker than this, and they, they last longer than this. And I buy 20 of them at a time for, I think, $11. So if you want to pick up some magic erasers, don't get the Mr. Clean Magic Eraser brand name. It's too expensive. Check out the description box below this video. There'll be a link to Amazon. You can buy them in bulk, go through a ton of them, use them all the time. And of course, if you use my links below in the description box, it does give this channel a very small commission, but it helps this channel stay alive so I can continue to give out daily awesome content just like this. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or you'd like to tell me how you clean door panels or really clean any sort of leather, plastic, vinyl quickly and with that awesome results, hook up all that stuff in the YouTube comments below. I always read those and I'm sure to get back to you guys as fast as I can. And of course, if you are new here, then definitely consider subscribing because I come out with daily videos just like this on products, tools, strategies, business skills, communication skills, and so much more, all in an effort to help the professional detailers become more successful and profitable in your business. And on this channel, I share the exact strategies that allowed me to turn my auto detailing business into a full-time income with only part-time hours. So if you're interested in that, definitely consider subscribing. Thank you so much again for being so involved in the Wilson Auto Detailing community. And as always from Luke here at Wilson Auto Detailing, keep working hard and I'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah.